Well, we have a nice story here. My friend Frank wanted to buy a puppy. So he did a Google search and he visited to a website called dogbreedslist.info. These pictures are some of dog types he selected. This is a small Yorkshire Terrier dog. And this is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. A medium size one. This is a large German Shepherd. And this is a giant Spanish Mastiff. You all know, just buying a puppy is not enough. You have to buy a crate for that puppy, too. From another Google search, my friend found a site showing crater information. This is app.com. You can find recommended crate sizes from them. Look at these. A German Shepherd ideal crate size is 48 inches by 36 inches. But for Yorkshire Terrier, it is just 24 inches by 18 inches or 24 inches by 24 inches. You can understand what I really want to tell here. The space a dog need depend on its type. Having a smaller crate for a larger dog will never work. But if you have enough space at your home, you can put a smaller dog in a larger crate. Think what will happen if your pet is a cute parrot or a rabbit. Can you put them in a dog crate? No. You have to buy special crates created for them. So, before buying a crater for a pet, we have some facts to consider. Like, which type of pet you have? Is it a dog or parrot or cat? If it is a dog, is it Yorkshire Terrier or German Shepherd? In simple terms, both nature of the pet and its size matters. When we are coding Java programs, we always use variables. In simple terms, variables reserve memory locations to store values. This means by creating a variable, you are going to tell Java Virtual Machine to reserve some space from the memory of your computer or the device you use to run the software. There are two main variable data types available in Java as primitive data types and reference or object data types. I will surely tell you about reference data types soon. For now, we are focusing on primitive data types. Primitive data types are basically to handle simple data values like height, temperature, number of customers, and customer ID. Java has primitive data types to hold four kind of values. Integers, floating point numbers, that means decimal numbers, characters, and truth values. You know what integers are? You learned that from your maths teacher. Integers are all positive and negative whole numbers, including 0, minus 3, 8, 2 million 592,471 are some integers. But 56.23 is not an integer. It is a floating point number. What are characters? English letters, letters of all other languages on earth, symbols we use, are some examples for characters. We have only two truth values in Java. True and false. All right, to represent integers, depending on the size of the integer. We have four data types. Byte, short, int, and long. Think about them in this way. They are like graders to store dogs of different sizes. Like Yorkshire Terrier, Welsh Springer Spaniel, German Shepherd, and Spanish Mastiff, our friend Frank found earlier. For decimal values, we also call them floating point values. We have two data types, float and double. For characters, we have data type char. And to represent truth values, we have data type boolean. So, there are basically eight primitive data types in Java to handle simple data values. Byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, and boolean. All right, let us learn everything about how practically use these data types from our next three lessons. From this lesson, I just wanted to give you a 
simple understanding about Java primitive data types. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. So, see you soon. With more code works on variables.